The Deep Awoken event that happened on April 1st was created by Archmage, and it was a three-team based game. Gameplay. It was the Daunts, the Threshers, and the Mudskippers. These three teams would go at each other to compete to who could ever get the highest score before 12 a.m. next morning. The winning team would get their winning sticker placed in the game and also verified for their role. The way you'd get points is by killing bosses, soloing Chime. So basically, the way you'd get points is by soloing bosses, killing people in the overworld, fishing, and doing Chime. These were the four things you could do to get points for your team. You had 24 hours to get the highest amount of points for your team. Then you would win a sticker and a roll to whichever team won. And even if you lost, you could still get your roll in the Discord. But what ensued after when it started, the 24 hours? Everything seemed alright. Nothing much happened. First four hours, five hours. But things started getting really crazy like seven, eight hours in when people started creating propaganda posts and it was like Thresher Superiority, Enslave the Mud Skippers. He had all these crazy like messages from these Discord people surprising their team, like just rooting for their team and going, Mud Skippers are better. And then even in like servers, you could see people going full supremacy for their team. It wasn't bad, like it wasn't full on like horrific. That's not what I'm saying, but like it was fun. It gave life to the game. It gave people a community what to do. It gave them something better than just sitting there running around without any purpose. It gave people an experience that they're not going to get for a really long time. Probably not until next Halloween. The April Fence. It was amazing. Servers grew. Guilds grew. People came back. And I just... It was amazing seeing that the community was back. Discord server was full. And just so many people were active. But what ensued was a great murder. The teams, like, teams would rally together and just flood servers and murder everybody that wasn't, like, a mud skipper, thresher, or whatever team you were not on. And it was just awesome. Because it ruined people's day, which is W, for one, because we're Deep Woken players. And two, it was just fun. You could do bosses, get points for your team. It was a purpose that you couldn't have any other event. They really cooked with this one. And it was just a fun April Fool's event. It, the design was cool. You can see him on the screen. And it just gave a lot of people things to do. But it also involved chaos. Costs such as guilds being created that was all about their team superiority. It almost was like 1820. I'm not making Don't reference and don't look that. Don't look it up. It was like 1800s. But a lot more chill and people were having a lot more fun than making it actually serious. So like the posts you see on the screen are all from Discord. And there was just many of them because people were spamming them. Supporting their team. Communities grew. But in game it was like a horror movie. Like you could be one at one point progressing just chilling. The next thing you know you could be surrounded by like four Mudskipper team players you know. And then like you'd just be dead and they sent you to depths and even in the depths you were getting killed more often it i think it ruined a lot for freshy players but also gave more life to the actual pvp players such as you know my friends their pvp years and they didn't have anything to do so they came back but what ensued was heresy the amount of chaos killing players oh my god you compare it to like the rumbling but just like really toned down and player wise like, the amount of killing and guild wars that started over their teams, and I'm pretty sure we even had, like, a few of our own guild members, like my guild members from the archives, just go ham on each other because they were part of different guilds they were trying to get points. Um, what followed was a lot of people being happy. There wasn't much badness to it. It was really chill. Everybody made a lot of propaganda. I'll post it on here. On the video you can see it across throughout the video I'm not gonna align them but I'll line the first few pieces and you guys can look at that I think I picked like everything that was weird and bizarre and things that were funny for this event but what ensued was you got your own race for a bit if you were a mudskipper you had the mudskipper um, design on you if you were a thresher you were green you had spines on you and if you were a daunt you had the um, 
Sharko sickness from the previous April Fool's event with a coral on your back. These it represented what team you were, were, and it was fun. It was cool. And I know there was a lot of chaos in the higher guilds because everybody was getting each other. We even had like a diver officer and another dive offer officer just go ham on each other because they kept on killing each other because they were two different teams. So it was really bizarre and it was fun. Nothing bad happened. A lot of crazy propaganda appeared. Support and supremacy for their team. That's just how the Deep Woken is. The Deep Woken community is. It was fun. Great. And I can't describe it as anything else. It's just, I love their events and how they do it. Even if they only release like three a year. So that's pretty much it. It's just a lot of killing in game. You got new races for that period of time for the April Fool's event. You've got team points, you got new stickers, and you got rules for the community if you actually played. And so on. Well, until next time, have a gamer day. And this is Curious Ginger, signing out.